happened to the Sussex's mission to save the world? Well, it's disappeared down the tubes one dollar bill at a time. <laughs> you know, the fact of the matter is, uh, they have one employee at the charity. His name is James Holt. He earns half of one of Meghan's evening dresses. So that shows how important he is. And the, if you look at the tax return, it's very interesting because in America, you are forbidden to have political activism as a part of a, of a charity. It's not a foundation, it's a charity. And it, it, its mission statement is very clearly political activism. How this has actually passed so far is beyond me, but I have received tens of thousands of complaints about it. And people have said they are going to be informing uh, and, and, and complaining to the IRS, and I would not discourage them from doing so. You know, the whole thing is a joke. It's not only a joke, it's a sick joke. Kinsey Schofield, uh, how on earth can Harry and Meghan claim to care so much about humanitarian work and then admit that they only work one hour a week for charity? It's pathetic, isn't it? Well, yeah. Dan, Lady C, I know I don't have to remind you of this quote. Remember their life of service, that catty quote when they were leaving, when they, when Mexit, Mexit happened, they wanted to make sure that the royal family knew that they did not have to be members of the royal family to live a life of service. That's not an hour a week. I mean, Elizabeth Holmes worked harder for Theranos, and that company was a fraud. Um, So I think Lady C is absolutely right. There's something very salacious about this, and, I, you know, I, I just think it proves what hypocrites they are. It really does. Now, of course, speaking of hypocrisy, Harry's international privacy tour touched down again in London this week. Uh, and Lady C, he seems to want to ruin freedom of the press in the UK. That's what I take from this anyway. Uh, but what did you make of the fact uh, that he decided to turn up unnecessarily at this pre-trial hearing? Well... I mean, the whole thing's a joke. You know, anybody who knows anything about the law knows that no litigant actually turns up for an application. I mean, your lawyers turn up. You don't. If the whole thing has been a gratuitous publicity seeking attention, seeking grab for headlines. And you notice he was, he was so overjoyed that he f forgot to be unhappy and looked as if he was happy, happy, happy. Oh, my gosh, there are all of the cameras. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh, I'm supposed to really hate them, but I can't resist loving them. You know, the, the whole thing is, is uh, the, the man is so hypocritical. But also remember the timing of this. He has timed this for when he thought the king and queen were going to be in France. And he was therefore going to try to edge them out of the picture so that he could, and Meghan Spaceful. could yet again, because even though she's not here, you can depend on it that she's behind this as well, that they could yet again uh, try to edge everybody else out of the picture. I mean, the whole thing is just sick and sad and pathetic. Yeah, I thought that was completely disgraceful, actually, Kinsey. The day he shows up, uh, as Lady C says, that was meant to be the start of Charles and Camilla's big tour in France. Obviously, it ended up being cancelled because of the protest action going on in France at the moment. But the thing is, Kinsey, what this shows to me is just how deeply unhappy Harry is. The fact that he gets off so much on returning to the UK, not to see his friends, not to see his family, but to wage an invisible war with the media. Well, and I also think he's trying to redirect the narrative from narc to white knight. He want, you know, he needs this victimhood narrative. People were starting to look at him a little funny. And so he's back as a victim again. Um, I, I guarantee you, if they show up for coronation, we'll have a whole row about another uniform. I bet you we can find him a pacifier. If, it, if he can't wear a uniform, surely we can get a binky in his mouth. Uh, but I just think that you're absolutely right. It's all about being a victim. And, and he thinks that there is currency in this. And unfortunately, in the United States, there is. However, people are getting pretty sick of it. Yeah, I think people are getting very sick of it. Uh, Lady C, let's move on to that state visit. Uh, 
Things seem to have gone incredibly well, actually, for King Charles and Camilla in Germany. This visit is getting a lot of attention. I think the Republicans out there and the Harry and Meghan lovers who hoped that after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the interest in the British royal family would start to wane. I think they're going to be disappointed, Lady C. Oh, I think they will be very disappointed. I mean, the King's visit has gone down so well. I mean, it's been wonderfully received. He spoke in German. He speaks German. His father, his mother, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, his grandmother, who hated Germans, she spoke German as well. She actually had a Jewish governess, uh, a German Jewish governess, when she was a little girl, who at the beginning of the First World War had to go back to Germany. So they all speak German. And, you know, the, he, has, he has touched all the right notes. And he's... he's the, the visit has gone down brilliantly, which I am delighted and actually not surprised that it has. And Camilla has charmed everybody she has met as well. Kinsey, to me, I think it shows the contrast, doesn't it, between King and Prince, because you've got King Charles on a tour of duty and you have Prince Harry on a tour of vengeance. That's right. You're, you're seeing that life of service in action, you know, almost a two minute standing ovation for his speech. Mm -hmm. I am so excited for the coronation, Dan. It gave me goosebumps watching because I just thought such such an exciting time to come. Are you coming? Are you coming back, Kinsey? Out. Are you going to be I am, here? I'm going to be there. Yes. OK, brilliant. Well, I'm going to get to see you in the flesh again. That's very, very exciting news. I uh, know. I agree. I think it's been a big hit. Big hit. Uh, Lady C, what's what's your dog's name? Her name is Aurora. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Absolutely she, beautiful. She's a puppy. She's a puppy, so I uh -huh. can't tell her no. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Well, look, very delighted to have Aurora alongside Lady Colin Gamble and Kinsey Schofield, my royal